morning, everybody, and welcome to today's morning markets. Just before I jump into the morning markets discussion, I'd just like to plug our podcast. So the podcast starred myself. It also starred Sir David Harrison, Mark Henderson, and Peter Bould. And it's focused around why you shouldn't believe everything that the media say. So please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can watch that podcast. You can watch all of our other podcasts, but also watch all of the morning markets videos as well. But let's jump into today's morning markets, and it's focused on UK unemployment. So this morning, the Office for National Statistics, the ONS, released the UK unemployment data. So what are the numbers? Well, UK unemployment right now is at 3.7% for the period, the last three months of 2022. Compared to the last period, it's exactly the same. If we look at wage growth, wage growth has come in at 5.9%, including bonuses, or excluding bonuses has come in at 6.7%. Compared to last time the data was run, both of those figures were at 6.4%. What's quite interesting is actually you're starting to see more people come back to the workforce, so that's a positive for productivity overall. But what can we take from these numbers? You know, why are they important? Um, how do they compare to history? So firstly, you know, in general, there's been a lot of concern around uh, the state of the UK economy, but one bright spot has been employment and the fact that people are employed and that the job market is healthy. You know, if someone is actively seeking work, then there's a strong chance that they will be able to find work. If we look at that unemployment rate number, 3.7%, the lowest it's ever got to is 3.5%. So what does that mean? Well, it means that actually unemployment rates are very low compared to history. So since 1971, when we recorded the unemployment rates coming through. What about the wage growth numbers? Well, when you look at the various different media sites this morning, when you read the newspaper, it'll say that wage growth has come in under inflation with inflation at 10.5%. So real wages are decreasing. That is true. But still what you're seeing is very significant wage rises come through overall. The Bank of England will be actively watching these figures. And this will help decide what is the trajectory of interest rates moving forward. So what else do we see coming out today? So the really big release today is the US CPI figures, so US headline inflation. So last time the annual figure came in at 6.5% for December. The expectation this time is that inflation falls further to 6.2% overall. As always, we, True Potential, our world-class managers that we work with, will monitor the situation and we'll change positioning as we feel necessary. I hope you enjoyed today's morning market. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level, or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ICES and pensions. These are available in the video description below.